Hey, what's up, boxing fans? This is the Rope of Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Got another upload for you. This one will be for the HBO main event coming up this weekend. Showtime and HBO are doing cards. I just did a, a video for Provoknikov Molina. And you know what? In that video, I forgot to mention Demetrius Andrade versus uh, Willie Nelson. So I'm glad to see Demetrius back in the ring. And I'm also glad that Willie got a shot at a good fighter uh, on a nice spot here. But this one's about the HBO fight here. It's the main event. Of course, Felix Verdejo, Zhu Shiming will be on the undercard for HBO. Uh, but the main event is Roman Martinez, who is the belt holder in this fight at 130. And Vasil Lomachenko. So Lomachenko's a guy that, you know, we know his pedigree. is uh, he's a, He was... Very talented and deep, deep resume in the amateurs. Only a handful of fights so far as a pro, but definitely, especially in the first handful of like two, three fights, four fights, he, uh, this guy, man, <laughs> he fought Salido. He fought a pretty solid guy in Gary Russell. Now the last couple of fights have, you know, kind of been just okay. I know that, that there was that Asian fighter. Uh, it started with a P. I can't remember that. It was kind of a longer name. P. Uh, I can't remember. But anyway, Chris John had fought him. He had kind of a gaudy, shiny record. But if you go back and look who that guy fought, you know, even Rodriguez, there wasn't much there at all. Basically, the last three, they kind of they kind of slowed him down a little bit and, and were kind of lining him up for a Walters fight and all that. And we found out that that Walters fight didn't go down. There wasn't enough money there for Walters even though it did seem like there was enough money there for him. But, you know, it is what it is. Now he's up at 130. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Now, as far as breaking down this fight, it is nice that Lomachenko got, you know, this this main event. He's going against, you know, kind of a more known fighter, a, a, a bit high of a higher of a caliber like he had faced early on. And I'm not sitting here ripping apart this guy's resume. I mean, the guy's got under 10 fights. So I'm not I'm not saying that. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, you know, he's got a short window here, a small, smaller window considering. And uh, it's just good to see him, you know, going for a title at 130. And Martinez does bring some of the attributes that Salido, Orlando Salido, his only loss, Lomachenko's, um, he does bring some of that to the table. Um, the pressure, attack style, we know Martinez, especially um, a couple years back, or even on the way up, Martinez seemed to be a little bit more aggressive, and, and maybe has kind of taken his you know foot off the pedal somewhat. If you look at those Salido fights, especially the, the first one, he did some subtle stuff on the outside, did some moving, and it paid off, especially the first fight. I personally thought that Salido won the second fight. Um, but that outside stuff is not going to be as important in this one. I mean, it potentially could be, but I don't think he'll be focused on the same things, the same game plan as he was against Salido, a guy that's going to come to you the whole night. Just did it, you know, on Saturday night, right, against Vargas. So, I could see how Martinez and his team, I could see what their game plan is probably going to be. It'll probably be pressure, attack, right? Um, the left hand to the body and left hand to the head is going to be key. They're probably going to try to use that high output and close that gap. Get on the inside and get to his body and rough his ass up. That's probably what the game plan's going to be. And if I was in that corner, I would probably say that's the best game plan. On the outside, or just sitting in the middle of the ring, that's not... Lomachenko's too skilled for that. Now, Lomachenko on the other side... Um, he's obviously learning the pro game. Right? And although I did see some weaknesses, right? Some holes in his game in that Salido fight, right? Getting beat up a little bit there on the inside, getting roughed up. It definitely affected him. 
it definitely affected him. He he was used. To, he just wasn't used to that. He was used to also maybe at times looking at the ref too much. It's like, dude, you, you just focus on what's in front of you. You know. What I did see, however, was adjustment and improvement in that fight. If you look at the first whatever part, the first part, the first four to six rounds, and then you look at the last four to six rounds, the second half. Lomachenko definitely made some, you know, nice adjustments, and he learned right in that fight. Now, he took a loss. It was a very tight, tight fight, um, and a good fight, but he's become a better fighter in my mind after that. To see a guy adjust in the ring when it was looking kind of rough for him, it wasn't looking good, I, that really, that, that really, really, that really got me. The problem here, Martinez can come forward. Like I mentioned, he can go to the body. He does have a decent jab on the way in, or at least fainting something to, you know, not just come in face first. The problem is, I'm not sure if he has that power that Salido had at 126. I don't know if, if Martinez has the power to do the same type of stuff. Now, dig into the body can be dig into the body. You don't need to be a power puncher to dig in and hit someone with the body and affect them. So I think that's where he's got to start, right? You got to chop down that tree, and the rest will, will fall. You got to chop it low, though. You're, well, obviously, you're not going to chop it high, are you? <laughs> I, 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 I failed there. I failed. I'll just admit it. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's going to be the difference. Although he put Salito down... You know, a handful of times when they fought, that's also a raging animal coming at you on attack mode 24-7, right? Like he's got a switch on and he's going forward, Salito is. Whereas that's not what he's going to see here. So I think the overall shorter, more accurate punch, the more time, the timed punch, the timing... I think that's what you're going to see out of Lomachenko. I think he'll get the job done. I don't think he'll knock him out, but I do think he'll win comfortably. Let me know what you think about this. Can Martinez kind of take that game plan of Salito and that success he had? Can he do the same thing? I think in a lot of ways he can. I just don't know if he has that right hand, that overhand right type of punch, Sunday punch like that. We'll see, though. We'll see. We are going to break this down. You get a little bit more opinion as well, a little bit more detail from other hosts and callers on the Rope Dope Radio podcast this Wednesday. Six on the West, nine on the East, two UK time. Follow me at Rope Dope Radio on Twitter for boxing banter and, of course, boxing news and a bunch of other stuff. Peace.